Welcome to How to Do a Love Spell, Valentine's Day edition. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. So this is 10 things that you need to do any love spell. Before we get started, I do want to warn you that you cannot break natural law and you cannot bend somebody's free will. Those are two very important points that I want to bring up before we go into the love spell. Um, it's great to attract in a soulmate. I don't like doing get ex lovers back. Um, people are here for a reason and they're meant to grow and evolve. And before we're born, we're actually predestined to meet certain people. So if they're with somebody else, they could possibly have said this before they were even born into this dimension. Um, so it's something that they would need to, to do to overcome. Um, so I don't, I don't like messing with that, but you can. <laughs> You definitely can. I personally advise against it. Um, so the number one thing when doing a love spell is to use the goddess Venus and the planet Venus. Venus is the planet of love and beauty and grace. So you're going to want to bring Venus into your love spells. That's number one. Number two is timing. So with timing, to do a love spell, the day of Venus is Friday. So you're going to want to try to do your love spell on a Friday, if at all possible. Also, the moon phases. The full moon is a time to get rid of things. You want things out of your life. So during that time, the time that the um, moon is waning is not a very good time to do love spells. Whenever the moon is in void, absolutely don't do it. It's not going to like even work. Um, so the best time to actually do a love spell would be during the new moon when new things are beginning, new things are forming. That's a, that's a fantastic time to do a love spell during the new moon during the waxing moon where it's br bringing fullness. So number one, use Venus. Number two, you're going to want to time your love spells. Number three are collars. Collars carry vibrations. So you're going to want to use things that have certain colors for certain different things. Um, so red is passion, it's fiery, it, it brings things in fast, it's very sexual energy. Um, pink is very innocent and sensual and loving and the color of Venus is pink and green. So you can also use green. Green is a really good color for love. Uh, gold, you can also use gold. Red, pink, green, and gold. Those And white. You can always use white. White is purity. Uh, white can stand in for any color. Uh, so you want to bring things that have those elements. Bring in stones like pink quartz uh, is really good. Rubies are really good for love spells. And uh, yeah, pink quartz would probably be the best. I also like amethyst, and sometimes I do bring in the color purple. Um, some fragrances. So this brings me, so number one would be to use Venus. Number two is time your spells around the new moon on Fridays or the waxing moon if possible. All right, so then we talked about colors that you're going to want to use to do some correspondences. And we talked about pinks and whites. All right, so now we're on number four. And number four is going to be like herbs and flowers and scents. 
that you can use to, to correspond back to Venus. And that would be roses, jasmine, beautiful, jasmine and roses, cinnamon, apples are fantastic to use, uh, honey, honey brings things in fast. So anytime you add honey to your spell, it's going to make it go faster. Cinnamon also, cinnamon speeds things up. So you want to use honey and you want to use cinnamon to speed things up. Now, number five, what should you say? What verbiage should you use? Should you say, I want John to call me? No. <laughs> John called me. I'm so happy and grateful that John called me. Thank you, Venus, for letting John call me today. That's perfect. All right. Six, elements. What elements? Well, you can actually use all four elements for a love spell. You can use air for good communication in a relationship or to get that call or text that would correspond to air. Water is all about emotions. You want to bring deep emotion to your relationship, so you're going to want to use water, right? And then Earth stabilizes the relationship and makes it long and stable and steady. Earth doesn't like change. So you don't want your relationship to change, so you'll want to use Earth. All right? And then fire brings in passion and sexuality. So you're going to want to incorporate some fire. I actually have a really good spell incorporating all four elements into it and some verbiage to go along. So this is the recipe for that spell. This spell, you're going to need four red candles and two white candles. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get into a meditative state. You're going to meditate upon your desired intentions. And once you do that, you're going to say, I call upon the spirit of earth to support me with your grounding and strength. And then you light the first red candle in front of you. And then you're going to turn 90 degrees to the right. And you always want to go clockwise because clockwise brings things in. I call upon the spirit of fire to strengthen my passion and emotion this night. And then you light the candle that you're facing. And then you turn another 90 degrees. And you say, I call upon the spirit of wind to free the path between me and my goal. And then you light the candle. And then you turn again. I call upon the spirit of water to consume my intent to create, and then you light the candle. You turn 90 degrees, and you should be facing the same direction you began. And then you say, within the balance of nature I stand. And then you light one of the white candles. And you place it in front of you. And then slightly to the left. And you say, I am at one with the power of nature. I am blessed to announce this night that it is my intent to draw my soulmate to me. And then you light the second white candle and place it in front of you. And then you say, as, as will it, I bring into my life the soulmate that I crave, the love that I deserve, and as I will shall be. You reach out to the two white candles, one in each hand, and you raise them in front of your eye level and say, two lights in the endless world, united at last by love and by passion. And then you tilt one of the candles and combine their flames into one. And you say, as we come together, 
as one I bring my wish to pass, so mote it be. And then you blow out all of the flames of all of the candles and you're done. And that would be an elemental candle magic spell. Um, that corresponds to Venus. It's actually more Wiccan in nature because there's different disciplines of magic. This is a more Wiccan um, spell. All right, so the next thing that we have, so now we are on number eight. What animals can you bring in? Now, I don't recommend animal sacrifice. Please, nobody animal sacrifice. However, you can bring in a feather of a peacock or a feather of a swan or an image of a peacock or an image of a swan. I particularly like swans because swans are known to mate for life. When two swans get together, they're together forever. So that's a, that's a really good one. Another thing that you can use, so this is going to bring us to nine, is a silk rope, and you could tie a knot. Um, knots, rings, they correspond to Saturn, and Saturn is in charge of rules and regulations and marriage and contracts. Um, so any type of rings or silk strings that you tie a knot in, correspond to Saturn. So that's bring somebody in that you want a contract with, you want uh, to bind to you. So you can use silk strings. All right, number nine. Uh, this is going back to Kabbalah. Netza is the the sphere of love and attraction, and it's also the sphere of our emotions. It's part of our consciousness. So that would be the sephiro that you would want to correspond to is Netza. Um, number 10, this is a little bit gross. But whenever you add a piece of yourself to a spell, it makes it more powerful. It charges it up. Uh, so some other things that you can do to kind of charge your spells, adding menstrual butt blood is very powerful. It's been used since the beginning of time. It's actually said that if a um, man ingests a female's menstrual blood, that he is like obsessed with her forever. <laughs> Uh, so blood is something that you can add, not like a whole bunch, just like a little drop uh, to charge the spell, give it, give it some more charge. Another thing is you could charge it with um, masturbation. That really amplifies a love spell. So those are some essential keys that you need to perform any decent love spell. 10 essential keys to perform any decent love spell. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Sarah. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for allowing me to present this material to you. I hope that it helps you. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that and happy Valentine's Day everybody.